We know that we are very anxious during this trying time in the middle of a pandemic. I am Dr. Divya here to share with you some of the most important things everyone should know about coronavirus and some of the measures in Ayurveda everyone can adopt to improve their immunity. I would also like to talk a little about the impact of any infection on pregnancy, newborns and some measures to be taken to stay safe during this postnatal period. We all are aware of the symptoms of coronavirus. If you look closer, it is important to enhance the general immunity, especially the respiratory system. The common symptoms are fever, cough and difficulty in breathing. Some general medications that can be adopted by everyone will be to consume a dose of Guluchyati Kashaya, Amrudotaram Kashayam and if you think your digestive system is hampered, a dose of Indukandam Kashayam is also advisable. But a word of caution, if you are suffering from any health condition, you can consult an Ayurvedic doctor and get a prescription to understand the dose necessary addition of other medications needed for your health condition. Having drugs that build up respiratory function will definitely help even when you are a person suffering from disease like asthma. Have one gram of pipeli in empty stomach in the early morning with quarter glass of boiled hot water. This will also help prevent, prevent the formation of phlegm. Taking hot inhalation with tulasi, karpuravalli and beetle leaves every day keeps the lungs in good condition. Coming to the talk about pregnancy. Pregnant women do not appear to be more susceptible to the virus than rest of the human population, provided the pregnant woman is healthy. But if you are a pregnant woman with an underlying health condition, more precaution is required to avoid exposure. The government have taken all measures to, to keep the pregnant women and newborn safe. Since most of the maternity hospitals are taking in the most unavoidable cases only, the women who are pregnant are in a state of panic. Some of the things you can assess at home during your pregnancy period, especially if you are in the last trimester are, number one, you can maintain a fetal kick chart. Keep a diary to note every movement of your baby. That is, Every movement felt by you, the mother, once in every 12 hours. Note every movement for one hour. If the movements are more than five, there is nothing to worry. Your baby is active. If it is less than five movements, you can have a glass of glucose water and rush to your obstetrician. The women suffering from gestation diabetes are exempted from this advice. The next question will be, what is the right time to go to the hospital? Your obstetrician might have advised you to come to the hospital when you feel the pain. That is, when there is intermittent hardening of the abdomen, you will feel your abdomen is so stone hard associated with pain in the low back. If there is a pervaginal leaking or watery discharge per vagina or bleeding, that is the time you have to rush to the hospital. Pregnant women are considered to be a special population group due to their specific susceptibility to some infection, the infectious disease that will cross the placental barrier and affect the fetus or the baby because of their unique immunological condition caused by the pregnancy. It is too early to comment whether the coronavirus is capable of crossing the placental barrier, although viruses are capable of doing so. The effect of coronavirus will also depend on the general immunity of the mother. Let's just say that the pregnancy is not immune compromised, but a unique immune, uh, immune condition that is modulated, but not suppressed. Coronavirus or COVID-19 is a viral infection transmitted to a human when there is a direct exposure to an infected person. Like any other human, it is important to have a hygienic lifestyle and staying indoors as much as possible for the pregnant woman also. Now in discussion about the newborns. The immune system of a newborn is underdeveloped and seriously the newborn is trying to thrive and live with the little immunoglobulins it is getting from the mother's breast milk. So definitely newborns are the last ones to be exposed to any kind of infection. After the umbilical cord fall off, the baby can be bathed with filtered Nalpamara water. 
Nalpamera has its antimicrobial activities which protects the newborn from infection and it is also mild on the skin. Again, if a pediatrician have advised against bathing the baby, please refrain yourself from doing so. Because in underweighing newborns and premature babies, bathing is contraindicated. Coming to the last part of my talk, that is the postnatal care. I would like to take you to what the Ayurveda Acharyas had, has advised in their ancient Shastras dating back to 5000 years. Pandemic or not, the Sutika or Purpura is a recent or a de recently delivered woman is someone who has to be isolated. Sutika is called Vrani, which means she is wounded. There are fresh exposed wounds inside the uterus in the site of placental extraction. There can be wounds in the perineum during childbirth or on episiotomy. And if the woman underwent a C-section or cesarean section, there is a wound starting from the skin, passing through the layers of the abdomen till the innermost layer of the uterus. Thus, the Acharyas had, had a very special idea to keep the Sutikas isolated so that they get enough rest to heal their body. The special type of house called Sutika Agara, it's a special type of temporary residence made in such a way that there is no direct exposure to the surrounding atmosphere. Hence, avoiding direct breeze, preventing any kind of allergens and airborne diseases. There is a, this is a home exclusively built for the woman to reside in her last trimester to deliver her newborn as well as to dwell there for around one and a half months that thereafter. This home is equipped with sangrahi drivyas or the drugs that meet requirements of women and her newborn's health condition. Most of the drugs stored here will be having properties of wound healing, antimicrobial activities and uh, the drugs will be having properties that enhances digestion and assimilation. Every day this home is fumigated with dry drugs of Gugulu, Agaru, Haridra and Kushta. All are having antimicrobial activities. The pure pura has a very weak digestive system as an aftermath of the delivery. It is a kind of ama vasta or the entire system of the newly delivered woman is clogged up. The drugs have amapachana and agni deepana gunas. That is, it has a capacity to relieve any sort of clogs or water retention or stiffness in the body. Ayurveda have very effective postnatal therapy that can be utilized by consulting an Ayurvedic doctor near you. So, my advice to all women who have recently delivered and to their family is to follow the strict rules in your home to avoid guests. And remember to keep your newborns away from too many people. The least exposed, the better. And also, caretakers of the pure pura and the newborns should keep themselves clean by bathing and washing hands before touching the newborn every time. Most importantly, I would like to come conclude by emphasizing on social distancing. I hope the information I shared with you was helpful and reassuring. I hope you and your family stay safe. Thank you for listening.